Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Foltz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this video, we will learn more about linear equations to prepare us for linear regression. Now I know your time is valuable, so let's go ahead and get to it. A credit card company charges $10 when a payment is late and $5 a day each day the payment remains unpaid. So things to note here, they charge us $10 as soon as we're late, boom, right up front. And then each subsequent day after that, they keep tacking on $5 per day. Next day, $5, next day, $5. So let's say that on Monday, that's when the payment is due. And then as soon as we're late, they're gonna go ahead and charge us $10 right up front. So we'll, ass we'll assume they do that the next day. Now, if we paid that at the end of Tuesday here, we would only pay the $10 for the first day that we're late. However, if we continue to be late, they're gonna tack on another $5 on Wednesday, and then another $5 on Thursday, and on and on and on. So after three days here, we would be at $20 in late fees. So it asks us, find the equation that expresses the total fee in terms of the number of days the payment is late. Well, we know that, the fee, the total fee, is gonna equal the initial $10 for being late plus $5 per day. Now, whenever you see that per day or per hour, per whatever, you know that that's what's changing. So here our independent variable is time. So this is our independent variable, it's time. It's not the fees. So the $10 and the $5 remain the same. They are constant. What changes here is time. So any linear equation, we could write this as y, that's our fee, equals 10 plus 5x. And that is the equation that will express our total fees. Now it asks us to graph this. There are two ways to do this. In previous videos, I've done both, but I think just for expediency, I'm just gonna pick one here, and we're gonna do the slope intercept form. So remember that y equals 10 plus five x is a variation of the slope intercept form of a line, which is y equals mx plus b. This is just y equals b plus mx. It's addition, so it doesn't matter which order those come in. And in this case, the b is the y-intercept, and the M is the slope as rise over run. So here we know that our Y intercept is 10. So remember the Y intercept is where X is zero and Y in this case is 10. So our line will cross our graph on the Y axis at the point zero 10 and then the slope over here tells us like from there where to proceed. So in this case, M equals five. So rise over run is actually five over one. That's our slope. So let's go ahead and make a very, very rough graph using our y-intercept and our slope. So we'll start with some axes. Pardon my drawing. That's why I did math. So we know that our intercept is 0, 10, our y-intercept is 0, 10, and our slope is 5. Let's make some tick marks here so we have some room. So we'll say 5, 10, 15, 20. Same thing on the y. 5, 10, 15, 20. Give ourselves some reference numbers here. Just like that. All right. So our y-intercept is the point 0, 10. So that would be right here. That's our y-intercept. Our slope is five over one, which tells us that we go up five and over one. So if I go up five, that'll take me to this line. And then over one is just to the right of that. Because remember, this tick mark down here is five. So it's just to the right of that. And then we just connect our two lines here. So something like that. And that represents the line 
of our fee schedule up here where we're actually getting charged. Now, of course, there is no negative time in this case. So actually this part of the graph in practical terms doesn't really matter. So we just start at our first day of being late, $10, and it just keeps going up, 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 up. So we could go like after five days, what would the fee be? Well, it would be Y equals $10 plus $5 times five days. So Y would equal 10 plus 25. Y would equal 35. So after five days, so right here, the cost would be 35, which would be like way up here somewhere, something like that. But it would be on that line. Every point is along that line somewhere. And that's what makes kind of linear equations and linear regression what it is. And just to reiterate, the reason this is linear is that the slope is constant. The slope is the same. So anywhere on this line, the slope is five because we're getting charged $5 per day. So per one unit of time, in this case, it's days, $5. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.